next minute will illustrate the effects of G or nerve gas more effectively than any words. The spray has wrecked its nervous system. G gas kills humans in the same manner as DDT kills flies who die by suffocation. A slight spray is sufficient to paralyze the brain. The gas is here illustrated in an open area, but it can make its way through the most minute openings and is virtually undetectable. One cannot see it, taste it, or smell it. It doesn't burn or irritate the skin. You die without ever knowing what hit you. Isn't there any protection against it? I'm afraid not. Not adequate enough. Ordinary clothes and masks are not sufficient. Concrete buildings, tunnels, subways, air raid shelters offer no immunity. How far will it travel? A small cylinder of gas, when released, will travel approximately 750 to 800 square miles, depending upon the wind. Who else has this gas? Many nations have it, but only we've recently completed the antidote. What about the antidote? Up to now, anthropine was the only known antidote, but we've worked out and perfected one more powerful and with almost positive results. We call it PAM, pyridine 2-L-doxmine methiodine for formula D. It's top secret, and very few people outside of myself know of it. The loss or destruction of the formula for this antidote would mean complete annihilation of the world. Professor Cole, please. Sorry, no one's allowed in here without a pass. But I must see the professor. It's of the utmost importance. Please, let, let me see the professor. Please, it is of... For information regarding the D-antinote to nerve gas, you'll have to wait for another briefing at the International Chemical Warfare Conference in Washington next week. Will there be any further questions? The meeting is over. Thank you for your attention. Oh, Professor, will you be able to join us for dinner? Sorry, Phil, I can't. How's the new job? Fine, except for Kathy calling me a cop. Yes, she would. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is Frank Dvorak, my new assistant. This is Phil Day, the genius that married my older daughter. Glad to meet you, Frank. Did I hear you say you were a policeman, Mr. Day? <laughs> no, but my wife thinks the CID is just a big fancy police station. <laughs> I'd better get home, John. Bye, right, Phil. Glad to have met you, Frank. Your son-in-law seems very nice. Phil, he's a good man. Here, I'd like to have you check these figures for me. Coleman speaking. We have your daughter, Suzanne. Do not contact the police. Go to her apartment. Frank. Nothing.
Suzanne. What's happened? Suzanne. Yes. I don't know. I don't know, Professor. Isn't she here? No. Last thing I remember, we were working on some sketches. Yes. And there was a knock. And Suzanne went to the to the door. Then these two men came in and they, they sure beat me up. That's all I can remember. Well, who were they? What did they want? Would you recognize them? No, no. I never saw them before. I, I can't imagine what they want. I've got to get to a phone and call the police. There's a telephone at the corner, Professor. I'll, I'll go with you. Hold it. In the car. Come on, move. Quick. you feel? Oh. Yeah. Thank heavens. I was afraid it was my husband. Let's not talk about that guy. You drink. You know, Mrs. Day, you have more effect on me than a mere drink. dangerous for you to be seen with me. Dangerous? Si, senor. Please, get into the car. Come on, let's go. Senor Day! Do not make me do this. But it is of the utmost importance that I speak with you. Matter. Drive anywhere. Senor Day, Senora, you must forgive my methods, but I have tried desperately to reach Professor Coleman. Now it is too late. They have taken him to my country. Mandoras. Oh, Bill, pull over to the side. Something's wrong. What's wrong? I don't know. 
Your father doesn't answer. He must have been telling the truth. Nothing. We'll leave him here. They'll find him soon enough. Come on, let's go. come to my doors nowadays is us greedy businessmen. <laughs> hey, seriously, though, it was nice flying with both of you. I'd like to give you a card, but I don't have any. But you can call me at my office at the Global Mining Corporation. Uh, well, goodbye, ma'am. Goodbye. Bye, sir. Darling, we were the only people on that plane besides Mr. Sheridan. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? I don't see that we have any choice, Casey. Whoever abducted your father probably killed that man in the car, and uh, his message was pretty plain. What's the matter, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Day, welcome to Mandores. I am Chief of Police Alan Ace. <laughs> I'm here to see that you have transportation to your hotel. We're honored. Thank you. But tell me, do all visitors get the royal welcome from the chief of police? 
Are we special? I'm just a poor policeman, senor. My orders are to take you and see that you are made comfortable. Please follow me. That doesn't answer my question. Follow me, please. Everyone's so friendly. Please follow me. I see what you mean. Pardon me. This will be your hotel. This? It's the only one we have. Follow me. Adios, Sora. Bienvenido. Senor. All our accommodations seem to be prearranged, senor. We are just trying to make you comfortable, senor, and that's all. I think we must be their millionth visitor. <laughs> Follow me. you be posting guards? The senor must be joking, of course. Julio here is no guard. He sleeps too much. <laughs> Andale. I hope you will be very comfortable. Goodbye. 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 Darling, what's going on here? What's happened to Suzanne and what's happened to Dad? Casey, baby, I don't think we have anything to worry about as far as Suzanne is concerned. These people have more to worry about here than one harebrained, uh... Sorry. But as far as your father's concerned, I'm not so confident. But that chief of police acted more like a bellboy. So he must be under orders from somebody way up... Darling, what are you looking for?
angel. This guy is terrific. Not only does he knock you out, he puts you to bed. You're not so bad yourself, my friend. But don't give me all the credit. I had help. You? With a wife like this, who needs a girlfriend? Oh, Phil. Aren't you at the airport? Yes, senor. I'm sorry for being so secretive, but it's necessary. I am called Camino. That doesn't tell What's us much. What's going on here? Trust me. Your sister is free to come and go as she wishes. But they are watching her closely. It's important for all concern that she stay alive. You see, she was used as bait to force Professor Coleman to come here. My father? Do you know where he is? Yes. He can't come here, but perhaps you will see him soon. At the airport, I, I put something in your pocket. A book of matches? Oh, yeah, that man in the car that was... Matches shown this way in Dos Palabras mean friend. If anything happens to me, go to Dos Palabras immediately. What about my father? Why can't he come here? Senora, it's not his choice. You are also being used as bait. In Mandoras, it started with a, a small Nazi movement. No great attention was paid to it at first. Nazi? Surely a few fanatics can't upset the world. Senor Day, it happened before. There was a fanatic who upset the world a great deal. And he's to do it again. He's to do what? What do you mean, again? It all started on the 1st of May, 1945. The regular program was interrupted with an announcement. The voice said, we have a grave and important announcement to make. The Reitsfeer Adolf Hitler is dead. Before he died, he appointed Grand Admiral Dönitz as his successor. In a few minutes, senor, the people heard the voice of their new leader. Admiral Dönitz said to them, I speak to you in this solemn hour as the successor to our Reitsfeer Adolf Hitler who died this afternoon fighting heroically at the head of his troops in Berlin. A large part of the world rejoiced at the news. Berlin fell and the war in Europe was over. But the whispers began at once. Is Hitler really dead? They asked. Charred bodies had been found that were alleged to be Hitler and Eva Braun, but a lot of rumors had to be checked out. Nothing was left to chance. A good deal of manipulation and help. My brother Theo had free access to the inner sanctum of Hitler's bunker. He was a laboratory technician. The rumor was that Hitler was getting his daily shots of hormones from a battery of doctors. But the truth was worse than that. He had a tremendous fear of death and created a succession of Mr. H's. There were attempted assassinations. None of the assassinations failed to kill someone. But not Mr. H. Practically never appeared in public, and the legend that he was indestructible started to grow. Then the war turned. At the same time, his best medical advisors were being forced to their greatest efforts. Mr. H was convinced that 
They could give him perpetual life. Nothing had been left to chance. All who had participated in the experiment were eliminated. The end came quickly. My brother Teo was severely injured, but he didn't die. And he never forgot what he saw that day in the bunker. As the news grew hopeless and the bomb fell on that bunker, several people were cremated. But not Mr. H. He had already been perpetuated, and the long, planned, and easy escape was carried out. Hitler alive? It's... it's incredible. I didn't say that, senora. I said he is not dead. This is too fantastic to believe. You must believe me. Please, I... I need your help. This is like some kind of a bad joke. Senor Day, was the dead man in that car a bad joke? He was my brother, the same who was in Berlin in 1945. He went to you for help. But why me? What can I do? What is it they want so badly? They have the gas. They want to destroy the professor's antidote. Wait a minute. That's the signal. See? Si? See, si, gracias. What's wrong? You see that man down there with a the beard? Yeah. That is Vasquez. Remember him well. At times he is called the assassin. Be very careful. I repeat, be very careful that I'll be near when you need me. I wonder if we're still being followed. Isn't everyone? Oh, look, darling. Do you have a coin? If we're lucky, we could come back here for our second honeymoon. Darling, you have the wrong town. bought these things. It's too late now. It's all ours. Doing your party, senor? Uh, yeah. Uh, better make it three. This way. Yeah. Hey, your 
You're from the States, aren't you? See, si, Cleveland, Ohio. Be careful, they're breakable. Well, what in the glum are you doing here? What are you doing down here? Well, it wasn't my fault. Those cats had long guns, and David Garrick was no help at all. Let's have some salto patras. This place really is uh, Dos uh, salto... Uh, dos salto patras y uno... Uh... Senor, let me order for you. Dos salto patras. Scotch and water. This sounds like a silly question, cha-cha-cha. But are you all right? No thanks to dear David Garrick, boy, fiancé. You better glum this hub of yours. He's getting saltier by the sack. Glum this hub? Now listen to me, Suzanne. This is very important. What did those guys look like who kidnapped you? Like the craziest. No, no, no. What I mean to say is, how did they act? Did they say anything? They were very nice. They pulled a gun on us, told David to split. Those shaved cats said they wouldn't hurt me if I'd be happy. Shaved cats? You know, guys with crew cuts. They draped me over a bird before I knew I was here. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, then what happened? And this time, answer in English. What could happen? When we landed here, they gave me some money, fixed me up in a hotel, and said I could run and play as long as I called nobody back home. Never glimmer pony in the castle. Never look a gift toss in the... I know. Um, wasn't there anything distinctive about these guys besides their hairdos? Well, now that you mention it, they did talk kind of funny. What do you mean, Suzanne? Claudia! A lot of them around, you know. Und I Yeah, yeah, yeah. Germans. You dug a deep. Germans. glasses and the ashtrays, right? What happened? How 
Hurry, please, senor. You must go. I will be all right. Maria, Maria, you badly hurt. See. Si. The ladies, where'd they go? No comprendo. No comprendo, senor. I'm sorry, senor Day, but you are under arrest. But my wife and her sister were kidnapped under your eyes, and you're arresting me. What for? For the murder of Carlos Vasquez, inspector of police. But what about my wife? I don't know. Well, then help me find her. I'm sorry, but you are under arrest. I didn't even know that man. I, I don't even have a gun. Give a I'll call you. What kind of a police chief are you anyway? I'm a very good police chief. I always obey orders, most of the time. And jail. Now look, chief of police or no chief of police, if I don't get some answers soon, I'm going to start a revolution of my own. Please, senor, let us have no trouble. There's been too much violence already. palace must be like. We are but a small country, senor. This way, please. What happened? Well, if you'd have been watching me instead of that belly dancer, you would have seen what happened. And two of the cutest guys you've ever seen grabbed us the minute the shots rang out. Oh, did they get beard face? They killed Vasquez, if that's what you mean. Senor Day, His Excellency, President Juan Padua wishes to speak to you. Please. Excellency, may I present Senor Day? It's an honor to meet you, Senor Day. I have found your wife and her sister charming. You're very kind, I'm sure. But I'm wondering why you've had us brought here. Will you have a drink, Senor Day? Senora? Senorita? Thank you, no. No. I'm still wondering why you've had us brought here. Senor Day, you must understand you are in Mandores, and here in our country we have very strict laws. Yes, but my wife and myself have done nothing wrong. Well, neither have I. You may go. There is a matter of a murder in the cafe. Now Excellent. look, you know perfectly well we had nothing to do with that. Why did you bring us here, really? Very well, Senor Day, I will tell you. You have become a part of our plan, however unwilling. Within a matter of hours, we will begin the conquest of the world. You may go. Come, I'll show you. That isn't the reason we were brought here. No, senor, he wasn't. Here. 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 And here, we have cells ready to attack. Others have been built in every country, including the United States. 
I hope you've been comfortable at your hotel room. Mine stinks. How are you, miss? <laughs> we haven't had the pleasure formerly. Tom Sharon's the name. I've heard a lot of nice things about you. Mr. Sharon, will you tell us what this is all about and how you fit into this little rat race? An unfortunate choice of words, Mr. Day. Let's just say I have a certain amount of interest here in the mines in Mesa Blanca. A businessman's interest. Other than that, I'm as much of an outsider as you. In fact, more than an outsider than you. However, I trust and believe in our Presidente here and want to help him do as much as I can to better his country. If you're expecting any help from me, you got the wrong man. I don't think so, Mr. Day. Alanis, take them. Guardia, pick them all below. So we are under arrest. <laughs> it would be more polite to say that you're a guest of the state. It's quite an honor. Let's all have another drink while our friends get oriented to their new surroundings. Professor, are you all right? Yes, yes, I'm all right. Oh, those lights. I'm still worth more alive to them than dead. How did they get you here? Well, they came and got David and me as we were leaving Suzanne's apartment. Phil, I'm afraid for David. He doesn't know anything about the antidote. But I won't tell them anything. Dad, it's my fault. I'm sorry. I never thought that they would ever happen. <gasps> this is unfortunate, Mr. Day. But we must learn certain things about the professor's antidotes. He has been stubborn. But now that you are all here, we will try another approach. Sorry for you. Your pity is misplaced, Miss Cohen. Our plans will go forward with or without your willing cooperation. In a matter of hours, the world will belong to us. Your giant bombs, your huge armies will be dust in front of us. If you cooperate, you won't be harmed. So you're the superior ones. The slappers of women, the torturers of old men. You sit in a crumbling castle dependent on Professor Coleman's formula. You really can't be sure how many others know his antidote, can you? You're bluffing, Mr. Day. Did you think any of this anything but incidental? I will show you what you're struggling against. I will show you the ruler of the world. You will come with us.
Los Palabras. Where did you get this, Professor? I... I don't remember. Oh, yes. One of the young guards gave them to me just before you got here. Guard? Yes. It's worth a chance, then. What's worth a chance? To cry for a break. Listen, some of these people here must be on our side. The trick is to stay out of the way of those that aren't. Listen, this may be our chance. Now be quiet. Try me a little later, honey. Let's get out of here now. Very good work, Senor Day. I was a crazy swing head you play. I did not judge you wrong, Senor. I knew you were a man to be watched. If you're trying to rush me for this gun, Senor, it is not necessary. Please, Senor Day, take it. You may need it. Please believe me. My people and I are as much prisoners in our country as you are. My family has been broken by these men. Once unmurdered. The other hiding in the darkness, denied for his own safety. One more thing, senor. You were brought here for your own safety. Vasquez meant to kill him at the cafe. So Camino wasn't kidding. Camino, he's my son. Your son? See? Now, you must hurry. I have two cars waiting outside. The drivers have been dismissed. Two cars? See, si. see. He's right. We stand a better chance if we break up into two separate groups. That way, one of us at least might make it to the Dos Palabras for help. See? Hurry, senor, hurry. I think the guards will still obey me. No matter what happens, Excellencia, they won't take you. Gracias, Alanis. Chances. The President and I will take a different route to Dos Palabras. Senor Day, you stay to the main highway. All right, but the Professor and I had better stick together. Kathy, you and Suzanne go with Al Inez and the President. Oh, no. I'm going with you. One of these days, you're going to get into trouble. All right, let's go. Let us through the gate. I am the president. Idiot! I told you to go. Is everything ready? Yes, sir. Call an extra car. I will be downstairs in exactly ten minutes. Yes, sir. Attention. Attention. Operation G goes into effect immediately. I repeat, Operation G goes into effect immediately. Two German generals are flying here tonight to meet Dvorak at the Karanya Caves. They've been planning the conquest of the world for 18 years. And now that 
That thing says that the time has come. Do they really follow its orders? Does it give orders, Senor Coleman? Does it really give orders? You better hurry, Excellencia. Personnel will assemble in Corridor D in five minutes. I repeat, Corridor D in five minutes. You are not in uniform. Operation G has begun. Now look, I'm getting just a little sick and tired there of your... There is no fatigue when the Fuhrer gives an order. You will obey like everyone else. I'm not in the army. You stupid fool. Did you really think you were better than the rest? Has he been prepared? Yes, sir. You have duplicate apparatus in the car. Everything is ready, sir. Mein Führer, everything is as you ordered. The truck with the soldiers has been loaded, and the gas is ready in its cylinders. You will see your great victory, Mein Führer. That I promise you. Martin! Martin! Take him to the car. If you were with them, Casey, I'd feel a lot better. Maybe you'd feel a lot better, darling, but I wouldn't. Oh, Phil, someone's following us. How am I doing? About the same. Well... We ought to be in town any minute now. I'll never get rid of him in this. Let's ditch.
flashlight, Casey, so keep low. Come on, we only got a couple of blocks to go. is getting short. I don't intend to be here at midnight. Well, I know where you are. <laughs> now, what's the use, Phil? At exactly 12.15, everyone in this town will be dead. Now, we need this area for our base of operations. After two containers of G-gas are opened, you, you know what will happen. I don't want to have to shoot you, Phil. We, we want you to come with us. We could just leave you here! This Luger shoots eight bullets. I'm going to try to get that last one. Stay here. I guess you're out of bullets now, David. Not exactly, Phil. <laughs> it was a lucky shot. Seldom miss, amigo. Fortunately, before he died, he told us they were going to release the gas in the town at midnight. Yes, we know that. Professor Coleman and my father are over at Dos Palabras. We better get out of here. Yes, we've got to hurry to Carana Caves. If we're lucky, we should make it within an hour. Pick your wife to the car, sir. Come on. Come on, darling. It's all right. Oh, Julio. Give a little la plaza. said we'd meet David first. You promised. We are going to the plaza. He will be there. Something has gone wrong. There's no one in the plaza. Where have they gone? Stop here. My son. That will be enough of that childish sniveling, Sharon. The Americans killed him. No. You killed him. You want to kill everything. Because you know that's the only way you can rule the world. If you were the last man on earth. You and that evil thing killed my son. A 
Let's not drive any faster. The roads are completely deserted, mein Führer. Since the Americans escaped, the world may know of our plans, but it is too late for them. Generals will arrive by midnight. Before morning, the gas will be released as you ordered. the way on foot. There's only one road to the rendezvous point, and we know it'll be watched. So follow me. Go this way. Uh, just over the hills are the caves. We'll be a few hundred meters above the place where General Koenig's plane will land. Won't there be any soldiers? With a weapon like G-Gas, what need have they of soldiers? Come on. Be much longer, mein Führer. Some of us will have to work our way down. There are many places to hide. Pablo and I will go down near the landing. That plane should be here soon. Vámonos, Pablo. Sí, vámonos. Buena suerte. Gracias. Johnny, please be careful. Sounds like the plane. I hope they don't spot Camino and Pablo. Let's have the G-Gas here, too. No 
some soldiers, huh? We have the grenades. Against soldiers, they are old-fashioned but effective. I hope you know how to use yours, Senor Day. The plane should land about there. I want to make my way down through that cave. I know it back way. soldiers and Pablo can get the plane. Somebody's got to get Vorak. I guess it's up to me, Casey. Change in plans, mein Führer. We will go to the town and release the gas ourselves.
thanks a million, my friends. Without you, this new peace would not be ours. Confusion and surprise have won more than one war, Your Excellency. Where is that daughter of mine? We have to leave soon. That must be her now. She's terribly sorry, but she's going to be late. Hello? Oh, Susie, we thought it was you. Where are you? You where? She's in Camino's bedroom. She's where? Oh, so when? How did it happen? I mean, when did you... Congratulations, Daddy. Your daughter is married. Congratulations to you, too, Your Excellency. Well, this calls for a celebration. There's still time. How's the bar downstairs? Better than the one at the palace. Good. Let's... changing your name for Mr. Day. Like, uh, what did you have in mind, Mrs. Day? Like, uh, what comes after Day? Oh. 